Hi all, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use a pen tablet during our online classes. So this is a tablet recently I brought to Amazon. Product name, Star 03 V2 Pen Tablet. It is manufactured by the company of XP Pen. XP Pen. This is the back side of this tab. This I'm showing is your box. And the configuration of this one, uh, it is an active area 10 into 16 inch. So the entire face of the, the tab. So the tab, this is the tab, the size is 10.6 inches. And the pressure sensitivity of the, the stylus pen, the, the stylus pen pressure sensitivity is 8192 levels. And the pen, that is a battery, freestyles battery. Therefore, you don't need to be, use any kind of battery in this. So it's a free uh, battery based freestylus. And shortcut key is 8 because default uh, in the tab they given eight shortcut key so you can use that with the shortcut key and there is an interface support it may support in the usb default suppose if you like to use any kind of converter to connect with device it's also permissible and the resolution is 5080 lpi and main thing it may supporting the windows platform as well as the mac os so it's supporting the both and this is a tablet view the tool which i'm using here is star 03 v2 pen tablet and just i'm going to show the tablet view which i brought it now this is a tablet there is a eight shortcut key they given here this is a, this is a arrow mark area no? this is the area we have to use for writing and this is a stylus pens they may give along with your boxes and there is a one small holder so this is a holder we can use it to keep your pen here so whenever you like to write anything just you can take and write here and the advantage of this uh, stand so if you open this stand they're given some nib also suppose there is a problem with your nib of your pen stylus pen if you like to change we can use it from the inside of these boxes so there is a dual purpose if you like to change the nib you have to use uh, inside the platform of nibs are there then if you keep it the above it's like a stand so now i'm keeping this stand near to me and the next thing after opening the boxes you have to find this kind of tag and there is a wire they are given here so this wire having the two end so one is this port this port we have to connect connect here see just i am connecting the port like this now it's connected then the opposite end the opposite end of the the wire generally they are given as a usb port but i am using as an apple laptop the laptop not having any kind of um, USB port so that's why I'm using small converter you have to buy it some uh, somewhere so this is a converter I'm using to convert the USB port to the type C but in the laptop if you're using the normal laptop or in a desktop you might get the USB port so therefore you can use it to connect after this just I'm going to connect with the type C port which is our main laptop just I'm connecting here so this is a process once you buy the things you have to do this okay so like this we have to connect with your devices after finishing all the external settings what we have to do we have to go to the xp pencode they're given a different software for different configuration of the tab so this is a official websites of the xp pencode if you like to explore you can come scroll down and you can explore all the features so why the xp pen is needed so pen on paper free 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity simply set up and it may support into all the class platforms pan india warranty then dedicated customer support lot of things they provide so this much of different product configuration based tab they have uh, given to the market now the next thing how we can download this softwares for this we have to go to the support in the support you are finding the option for download once you click the download it goes to the downloadable view and here they are given the different uh, configuration different uh, types of uh, xp pen model here you have to locate the model what is your exact model so that is the things we have to find from your your boxes itself because my product name is stars 03 v2 pen tablet so if it comes down you are finding this model so mine is star 03 a v2 pen so this is my model storage 03 i like to download this software therefore i am clicking the software 
uh, that particular view once you click here it automatically goes to the the downloadable software view they given some kind of manual also suppose you like to explore different manual you can go with the manual they given uh, the manual in different language that's also might help you and this is a download suppose if you are using the mac os you can go with this first one if you are using a uh, windows os so based on your systems automatically uh, he knows how to install it I am using Mac OS, therefore I am going to click download and after installation we have to install it properly. Then this is in Windows, it may supporting the 7, 8, 10. So here also they are given the different driver softwares. So based on your system configuration you have to install it. After installation is over, uh, you might find this kind of view. So this is a view of your software. After installation only you might find these things. So this is a work area, if you like to change the work area, so here they are given all monitor and monitor size. If you like to change the x, y, that x, x, y axis spaces, we have to change from here. So this is the things we have to do after the installation to be over. And this is a particular uh, phases, uh, your things to be uh, acceptable, the writing things to be acceptable. That is why it's automatically is detecting in what is the area is being directed. So this is like a display, our desktop display and how the display display it uh, blended or maybe sync with your tab display so that is why it's given the spaces like this and if you go to the pen settings so here this is a pen setting is much important here we have to add the different tools uh, suppose you are using some whiteboard tools that whiteboard tools you want to support this kind of uh, pen tablet you can go to the plus symbol and you can find the the different application which you like to connect with your pen uh, tablet you have to connect here so here i am connecting with uh, microsoft powerpoint google chrome pen tablet cisco, uh, cisco webex like this i am already connected suppose you like to find a new tool go to the browse and then find the tools names so here if you like to give the permission to uh, some other tools like uh, uh, google slides or microsoft teams which are tools you like to give you permission to access the the pen tablet you can give it permissions but here I am accepting this much of uh, tools uh, like uh, this is uh, my uh, A-Power Mirror tool, then PowerPoint, then Open Board tool. So like this I am added some of the tools here. So which other tools is uh, showing here? Only this tools mean permissible to access your uh, tablet. The next thing I am going to highlight how we can use this one. And apparently this is shortcut key also is given. This was the shortcut key. So this was the um, keyboard key. Then options I uh, K3, this for the K3, then K2 is for the eraser, and uh, K4 for the space hand tool, and K6 for the command plus zoom in, then K8 for the show control. Like this, they, they given a lot of shortcut also. Then after fixing everything, suppose you like to modify the customization, you can do the customization here, the shortcut key also. But I like to go OK. Now, up to this process, we have to like we have to uh, what is it fix some kind of configuration setups in your tab we have to do this so after this just i'm opening my one of my ppt slides which i like to demonstrate this is my ppt slide for example this is my ppt slides so here i like to write something i like to write something so if you have this stylus pen suppose uh, there is the options like draw in your ppt itself if you go to the draw i'm keeping my tab in front of me just i'm keeping the tab and i'm having the pen now i'm having the pen so here just i'm pressing here once i press here you can see my camera once i press here you are finding there is a blue color the blue color is represent your tab is connected but now i like to write something therefore i'm going to draw an options once i draw an options it's asking to select the pen color so i'm selecting the pen color this one and the width of the pen, so I like to keep this one. And after this, keep your cursor where you like to write. So now my cursor, the there is a red color. It's showing near to the Google Keep. Then just I'm going to draw. So you can draw anything. So for this, just you can select the draw pen and then draw anything. So you see here, just I'm going to draw. So just I'm going to mark it here. Suppose you like to draw, uh, you like to draw something like a circle or a square or a square or a rectangle so everything is permissible so suppose you like to write education so keep your cursor here i'm writing as a education so i'm writing as a education so this is the way we have to write in the ppt slides 
So this is uh, before the presentation view. Like that, you can enable the, the pen uh, from the uh, PowerPoint, and then you can write it here. And suppose you like to erase it here, you can go to the eraser. So once you select the eraser, so as I'm moving here, I like to erase it here. So even in the pen itself, you can erase it. So just I can do the interventions. So wherever I like to delete, delete here, I'm keeping the pen here. This is a pot. So just I'm deleting here. I'm erasing all the pots. So this is before the presentation. So if you'd like to do any kind of writing or deleting, you can do it here. During the presentation. So I hope you know how to do the presentations. For the presentation, you can go to the F5 button or you can go to the full screen uh, slideshow view. So once you come to the slideshow view, just and come for the, the slideshow view. So now the presentation slide. Suppose I like to do some kind of interventions in this particular slides. What we have to do? First, we have to enable the pen now. So in this PowerPoint, uh, even the um, yeah, in the case of the Windows version or the um, uh, Mac versions, we are finding this kind of pen symbol. So we are finding this kind of pen symbols down. This is called as the action button. If you click the pen, uh, there is a pen, arrow, hidden, lot of options are available. Just you can select the pen. And if you like to change the color, once again you can press the, the down. And there is a different pen color. I like to keep as a red color. Therefore, I am enable the pen pen as a red then after that you can keep uh, where you like to um, so even you can change the green color which the color you like you like to write something just i am writing here as university so you can see i am writing as a university so if you try to keep uh, keep your devices down it will good but for the demonstration i am keeping here to my camera so due to the purpose i am not able to write well but if you're keeping in a very flat area, it should be right. You can write it very clearly. If I go to the next button, suppose you like to change the color. Once again, I can change the color of my pen and then, then. then you can draw anything. Suppose I like to draw a normal property curve. I can draw a normal property curve. You can mark anything. You can mark anything. So like this, it might be easy to write anything. Suppose you like to take something in the tools. You can keep the cursor near to the tools and go with this. This time, going tick, 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 then tick, tick. Suppose you like to explain something, you like to do some kind of funny dates. So this thing should be good. So I am writing the tab automatically. It may blend up with my slide itself. So this kind of funny date is possible through this kind of pen tab. I am going to the next slide. Just suppose I like to write something here. Even I can write something. So Google Ads, so I'm writing this GAFE, Google Ads for Education as a tool. I like to write in this kind of annotated is permissible with this. And we can easy to link with any other tools. I'm demonstrating now it's a PowerPoint. Similarly, if you like to use any open board uh, or any kind of interactive whiteboard, that also is permissible. Just you can connect the tab and then write uh, that from the tab itself. So hopefully this video might help you a lot. Thank you all. We'll meet the next video. Bye.